So why do we choose to look at lithium? Lithium is the linchpin in the start of the next energy revolution. So what makes it so special and what makes it so important? And that basically comes down to size. Lithium is the world's lightest metal, and that's an incredibly important quality in battery technology. When you combine those properties, the size and the structure, you get a compound that is capable of, when combined with, with everything else, extremely high energy density in batteries. And why does that matter? It makes them light. That's incredibly crucial for transportation, for portable electronics. Now, transportation is where lithium comes into play in the next energy revolution. And when I'm talking about the ener next energy revolution, I'm not talking about a sudden change. I'm talking about a slow slog away from oil and the dependency on oil and the impacts of geopolitics there. Lithium is a fundamental part in the fact that lithium ion batteries are what's driving this transition away from oil and transportation. They have become good enough and they have become cheap enough over the last several years to where now they are now cost competitive with gasoline or close to cost competitive with gasoline. And we are starting to see the demand tick up and tick up and tick up. So what does that mean for countries that are lithium producers? And, and what are those countries and where should we look in the future? So there's two different ways to uh, acquire lithium when we're looking at um, where to get it from the ground, basically. You can acquire it from brine deposits through evaporation, or you can mine it traditionally. And that sort of matters on where you are in the world. There's something called the lithium triangle in South America, and that's where we see a lot of the movement and a lot of the uh, dynamic nature of the market coming in the next several years. But you also can't forget about Australia. Australia is keyly positioned next to China, where we see the greatest rise in demand for lithium ion batteries over the next dec several decades to take advantage of this. So, but, but moving back to the, the Southern Cone, before I forget about South America, that lithium triangle includes Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia. Chile is traditionally the largest producer of lithium, but Argentina is right on its tail, and its new, relatively new, uh, political environment makes it a key place where expansion can happen. Now, Bolivia has the most natural resources in its possession, in its borders, but it, it hasn't gotten its act together in terms of development. It also doesn't have an ocean coast, so exports will remain politically a little uncertain. All that combined, we're basically looking at a very small handful of countries, especially Australia and Argentina, who are poised to take advantage of lithium mining and the lithium demand increasing over the next several years.